Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the top 5 features that I'd like to see make a return into Grand Theft Auto Online. Okay, now I'm making this video because yesterday I uploaded 5 quick tips you might not know about in GTA Online, and you guys really seemed to like that video. There was a very positive response, and I figured I would talk about some of the features that were once in Grand Theft Auto Online that are no longer there, because I've been playing GTA Online since day one, all the way back in 2013, and there's a bunch of features that we had then and even in 2014 that we don't have in 2015 and now even in 2016. So I wanna talk about kind of my top five compiled list in this video. And as always, I encourage you guys to leave your own suggestions and feedback in the comments section down below. However, today we're gonna to be starting off with a bonus. And the reason this is a bonus is because I cannot include it in like GTA Online, because it actually comes from Grand Theft Auto 4. And this is something I wish carried over. If you guys ever played Grand Theft Auto 4 multiplayer, and the reason I'm talking about this is because I've recently been playing The Ballad of Gay Tony. You can even check my Steam account if you want. I've like been going back playing the old GTAs so sort of in my free time. In Grand Theft Auto 4 multiplayer, the mini map was so much better in my opinion. It had like color coded dots, you know, different players in the lobbies would have like different colors above their head. So it made it really easy to tell someone apart, but also it prevented like these conglomerate of white dots just appearing on the minimap, which is kind of what happens in Grand Theft Auto Online. When a lot of people get in the same area, it's just a bunch of white dots all over the place and pale pink dots all over the place because they shot someone or something along those lines. So while I can't officially include that in things I'd like to see return, the Grand Theft Auto 4 multiplayer minimap did a lot of things right that I think weren't ultimately transferred over into Grand Theft Auto Online when GTA 5 was released. So I think that's just something to think about also. But anyways, let's formally get into our top five today. And this isn't in any particular order of like from best to worst, but at the number one, fun glitches and fun launch glitches. So it seems like Rockstar have stated that they were open to keeping fun and non-harmful glitches into the game, but they always seem to get patched. Whatever the glitch might be, whether it's a launch glitch, whether it's sending your car flying in the air. I mean, there's just so many funny things you can do in Grand Theft Auto Online with the kind of bugs and glitches that are available, but for whatever reason, Rockstar always seem to patch them. They seem like they have an issue with it, meaning it like makes their game a worse product, when in fact, it's the exact opposite. Doing those glitches are so much fun because one, they're totally harmless, and two, they just bring about laughs and good times, and what's wrong with having something like that? So I'm kind of torn on this one because I understand Rockstar wanting to create the best polish game possible. And I know that's their job. That's what they go to work to do every day is to create a really good game. But there's just so many iconic GTA glitch moments, whether it's the swing set glitch from Grand Theft Auto 4, whether it's the multiple ones that were discovered in Grand Theft Auto 5 or Grand Theft Auto Online. And they always just seem to patch it, which is a total shame because like I mentioned, you can have so much fun with a few of the things you can do, just launching your cars, launching your characters. It's a blast. I totally love it. Okay, at the number two spot, we're going to be talking about the other free mode events. And some of you guys might not even know what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about armor trucks, crate drops, whether it's shooting down scavenger planes like Trevor texting you. You guys might not realize that, but Rockstar have disabled armor trucks, crate drops, scavenger planes. They've disabled everything in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, I think it's still available on the last generation, but it looks like the new free mode events have sort of taken the place of, I guess, those free mode events, which is kind of a shame because I remember so many fond memories of just driving around in my Grand Theft Auto Online lobby, seeing the notification on my screen and on my mini map that, uh, you know, an armored truck had appeared and then just completely forgetting about the objective that I was doing and bolting across the map trying to get to that armored truck first. And it's not like the payouts were incredible. You know, there were fifteen to $30,000. They were okay, but it was just the idea of getting to that armored truck first and you being the one to getting to it. Those are the free mode events I really like and the crate drops as well. You could get some awesome rare gear here in crate drops. I remember with my friend, we would just lobby hop over and over and over again, and we would try to hunt these special crate drops. It was so much fun, and I remember doing that all the time, and it was just a total shame to see those disappear from the current generation systems. So hopefully Rockstar do end up bringing them back, but I doubt it because they're really focused on those new formal free mode events. The first of which is the way payouts are distributed via a timed system, and the second one is a lack of a replay mission feature, as well as not being able to put contact missions into a playlist. So I don't know how long ago it was, maybe a year ago, Rockstar changed the way that mission payouts were done and their 
timed. So if you complete a mission in like one minute, even though your workload might be the exact same, you're gonna get paid significantly less than if you do the mission in 10 minutes. And what it encourages people to do is just try to draw out the mission as long as possible so that they can try to get a maximum amount of payout rather than trying to be as efficient as possible. So it's like that mission system, it doesn't reward efficiency, what it rewards is your amount of time spent in a job, which I think is totally backwards and totally wrong. And I wish Rockstar would go back to their old system of doing that. And also the replay mission feature. It seems like Rockstar have made contact missions almost impossible to make money from, which is unfortunate because they're kind of the heart and soul of like the text messaging random system job event thing that you get in game. So they've com completely crippled the job system in terms of making money and being able to easily replay them because since you can't replay them you got to go through loading screens and menus it's a total disaster and i don't like what rockstar have done and they've even limited a contact missions ability to be like replayed and put in playlists which is a total bummer but i don't think they're ever going to be going back to that which is kind of a shame at the number four spot you guys might be torn on this one but it's actually the mechanic johnny the mechanic uh you guys might remember johnny the mechanic he would always deliver your car whether it was in the right place or whether it was in the wrong place whether it was upside down, whether it was on the wrong street. And Johnny had his flaws. I will say that he was not the best at delivering vehicles. Sometimes he would drive away in the vehicles without even deliver them. He would just bring you to a weird location, but he was Johnny on the spot all the time. And that's what I loved about it. It was so much fun. Whether you hated him or loved him, you couldn't just help but laugh at the craziness and weirdness that was Johnny on the spot. And I don't know about you guys, but I think it's less fun that our car just randomly spawns in than when Johnny was actually delivering them. It's also less realistic. I thought it was really cool. You know, you call up your mechanic. He says, yeah, I'll bring it to you right away. Boom, he drives up. There's your car. He walks out, goes away, does his thing. Now it just spawns in the game. It just doesn't seem realistic. And obviously, I know Grand Theft Auto 5 isn't meant to be realistic to an extent, but I still like the fact of having an actual person drop off the car that I just called, especially because we still pay a mechanic fee. Like, what? We still pay a mechanic fee? And Johnny doesn't even deliver. It just magically spawns. So it does justify the mechanic fee in game. And it also just made it a little bit more realistic for me, which is two things that I really did enjoy about the Johnny on the spot character. All right, at the number five spot, this one's kind of a broad topic, but it's vehicle availability. So whether it's being able to open the back door of the Titan and actually get in and have some crazy madness moments with your friend, or whether it's having the cargo bob available. I mean, the cargo bob is nowhere to be found in Grand Theft Auto online which I totally don't understand or whether it was fun vehicles being added into the game like the go-go monkey space ballista whether it was the space docker I mean there's so many cars that Rockstar have seemed to blacklist from online as well as kind of military vehicles also so the cargo bob like I mentioned isn't really available the titan you can't really use all of its features because that back door really doesn't open and doesn't really work properly so just some of the small things like that kind of opening up the vehicle barriers I guess you'll call it that's kind of a perfect way to describe it in Grand Theft Auto Online I think there's just too many limitations and there's too many little things that Rockstar kind of put a blockade up and really prevent us from having but anyways those are my top five features that I think need to to make a return and that once were in Grand Theft Auto Online. Let me know what your top five is in the comments section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.